Hi beauty babes, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are all alright. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a my story, the truth with me, while I put my makeup on. As you can see, I've got most of it on already, and I'm just doing my eyes. I just thought, you know what, I'm wearing my polka dot red dress. You can't see the polka dots because they're down here. I'm wearing my polka dot red dress. And my friend Sarah bought me a palette that I wasn't even going to buy um, because there was a bit of a shade at the time. There was a shade that I didn't like the name of in the bigger palette. Um, she didn't know what was going on. And she bought me a palette anyway. She bought me the Rachel Leary palette. And I thought, well, the girl's got to be grateful and appreciative. So I'm doing a video, isn't it? I have tried to use it a couple of times already, as you will probably see when you look. I'm not going to do a close-up. I may, may do some swatches if I feel like it. Um, but I'm here today just to talk truth. And uh, the truth is, I've just dropped a bollock. haven't really had dropped my brushes. Um, yeah, I'm here to tell my truth. And my truth of everything that's gone on and all the tea <laughs> no there isn't any tea honestly um yeah i'm just here telling you a little bit about me um rather than just seeing the person that shows you makeup every now and again so i'm literally just going to do my eyes and talk to you while i do it um just to let you know first of all i have put some mac paint pot on my lids already so, all done and set, um, and I'm just going to play away. Um, yeah, so I thought I would do Story Talent Day, tell you a little bit more about me. For those of you that haven't been around as long as my OG babes. Um, now, yeah, you already know how old I am because I kind of go on about it a lot. Um, I have um, a fibromyalgia which for some of you who don't know um, is a condition that's only really sort of now being understood and it's very very difficult to explain what it actually is but it's a bit like multiple sclerosis but it isn't um, it's a bit like arthritis but it isn't um, it's very very odd in the fact that it actually means fibre, which is like your muscles and your tendons and all that, and myalgia, which is like, means, Ugh. in a nutshell, it just means, Ugh. so it's basically like, there's a problem with my, with my muscles and my tendons in my body, and they are overly sensitive, they now think that people that have fibro, um, actually have more nerve endings than a normal person, so, like, when my husband go give me a cuddle, um, he only has to squeeze me and it hurts. Sophia sitting on my lap, it hurts. Whereas anybody else, it wouldn't do. Um, to add insult to injury on my poor old body, I have arthritis in my knees, um, especially in my left because I had a rather nasty accident when I was younger and broke a bone in my knee, broke a piece of bone off in my knee. And um, I also have a prolapsed disc in my back. I also have an underactive thyroid. And I also have been diagnosed, clinically diagnosed with OCD. So there you go, that's my story, that's my baggage. So we'll talk a little bit about what's going on. Um, I do makeup videos because I find that they are soothing. Um, I enjoy makeup. I love makeup. Um, I've always been um, interested in makeup. Um, I used to work with makeup years and years ago. I used to work in the beauty counters. I used to work. Um, <sighs> I can't even think of the name. Now this is this is the problem with when you get older and also fibromyalgia. You get brain fog so sometimes things don't come out quite right sometimes things just completely disappear and um, I used to work a lot with Givenchy and Clinique and yeah they were I used to work down in that section of the store 
Um, and I've already done a, a story time with regarding my my wigs, which I'll if I've already put the video up, I will link. But if not, I'll link it anyway. Um, but it's a funny story, a couple of funny stories. Um, but yeah, so I've always been interested in makeup and always loved makeup and always liked enjoyed doing makeup and I am training to be a an MUA so I'm it's not just a fleeting thing I am actually training properly um which I think is a good thing oh we've got a little bit of fallout um I think it's a good thing because it means that I know what I'm talking about when I'm doing makeup tutorials for you guys um, I mean, I do feel like I know what I'm talking about anyway, because I've been doing it for so long, and, you know, I know my face well, not that I look at it in the mirror a lot, but I do know my face well, and I know what colours look good on me, and I know what colours look absolutely pants on me, and I know what I like, and I know what I don't like, so I tend to do videos on what I like um, and it used to be I used to like a lot of Makeup Revolution um, and the truth of the essence is now is, is my heart's not in that anymore um, I'm not going to go into it because it's a very personal story and it's very long winded and I don't really want to um, express anything about that at the moment but I, I, you know, I just want to go into a little bit more depth of, of, of me um, one of the things I will say with my fibromyalgia is obviously I get my brain fog I also have speech problems as well like I, I can't get my words out and then when they do come out they're all stuttery and I repeat myself over and over again um, most of the time I actually walk with a walking stick um, I mean that might come as a shock to some of you because you see me in pictures and you see me in videos as me sitting down as being a normal person I am a normal person, that isn't what I mean, um, but you don't realise that like when I get up out of this chair I'm actually using a walking stick to get about because my body is so, in so much pain um, and I'm waiting on to see a doctor at the moment to see if I can get an epidural in my back because my prolapse is just so bad and my prolapse has occurred from a car accident from years and years and years ago. Um, also, as a young child, a very, very young child, I suffered from a fractured skull, um, which you can still feel the dent in my head, which is not pleasant. And I usually say to people, yeah, feel this, feel this, feel this. Five months old, um, I was dropped on concrete um, because the person who was holding me at the time um, was set upon by a dog and the dog jumped up and pushed her from behind and she dropped me and I find it a bit difficult to talk about because obviously it has affected my health somewhat and it is believed that my fibromyalgia actually comes from the fractured skull which I I think could well be right because they say that it comes from a trauma so I can't get much more traumatic really than a, a baby with a fractured skull. So, yeah, there's all sorts of implications in my life. So if some people think that I'm a bit strange or I talk funny or that I've got one side of my face that's a bit lopsided to the other, it is. And I don't apologise for that because I is what I is. No, I am what I am, and I don't apologise for be, me being me. I don't think anybody should have to apologise for being themselves. I think they should apologise if they, like, bring somebody else down. But when it comes to them as a person, I think that you do you. You do you. Um, I don't like nastiness. I don't like bullying tactics. I don't like... Conf confrontation um, I don't like making a fuss although lately I feel like sometimes you have to make a fuss sometimes you have to do things to be heard 
because otherwise you'll just be lost in the, the ocean and sea of other people that are trying to do the same thing as you and you have to be different and I always say my aesthetic is different because I'm an older person I'm not a little dolly bird that looks perfect and can make all makeup look superbly nice on their pretty little face and their perfect skin I'm your 45 year old mother who's been ill that has gone through life and life is showing on her face and I will say I am proud of every single wrinkle that I have and I will not I will not be made to feel ashamed because of how I look I am what I am or it is what it is and that's it so yeah that's basically me in a nutshell um, I do suffer a lot with my legs I will say my legs are in agony all the time there's just it seems to me there's nothing they can do about my legs um, they continuously hurt they throb and ache and they just yeah there's just nothing I can really do for them um, and then there's my back oh my goodness my back it's just I wish that they could take the pain away I really wish they could take the pain away um, but they've sort of said that it's something that they can't do they've said that the pain that I have had for all these years um, is going to stay and sometimes that can make you feel like your world has come to an end because it's like there's just no light at the end of that tunnel so I keep myself occupied and alive by being a mum to my absolutely gorgeous and funny little girl who is now seven um, I can't believe she's seven it's like where did them years go I tell you if you have a young baby give them as many cuddles and as many hugs as you can because they're gonna grow up so quick it's not a cliche it really is true that is really true um, I adore her and I adore her daddy and I feel so blessed that I have her I did have her late um, because of the underactive thyroid um, which plays up with your hormones it stopped me from getting pregnant and they told me that I wouldn't be able to have a baby and within a month of them saying I'm not going to be able to be able to see what I mean I wouldn't be able to have a baby and they put me on the medication for um, the thyroid they put me on thyroxin levothyroxine I fell pregnant and I think it was the relief of the stress of trying and thinking oh, maybe this time, maybe this time, maybe this time um, yeah and yes I know people, some people say well you're in so much pain yet you could do that hell yeah <laughs> oh yeah there's always, there's always room and time to look after your look after your other half your better half whether it be male or female um you know you you just have to you just have to you have to keep them happy um jokes aside yeah i absolutely adore my husband and i adore my little girl um they are my world my absolute world um and there's nothing that I wouldn't do for either of them. Now, I know a lot of people criticise me because um, of buying so much makeup and not spending it on Sophia. And all I'm going to say to that is she has plenty spent on her. There is nothing that that little girl needs or, you know, she has everything that she wants. She's not a spoilt brat. Because I don't believe in, in spoiling them. I don't believe in giving them every single thing that they want. Um, I do believe in giving them everything that they need. That's a different kettle of fish. 
but I don't agree with spoiling them and I don't like her being on a tablet all the time either. She is restricted on her tablet. She doesn't even use a tablet at the moment um, and she hasn't done for about three months and she's not going to for the time being because I find that it can make them a bit crazy. It can make them a bit cha-cha and nobody wants a child that's cha-cha so yeah, I, I sort of said no, tablet is completely and utterly banned. Um, but yeah, there is nothing that I wouldn't do for that little girl or my hubby. That's my eyes done. Now, I've got to say, I'm not overly enamoured with this palette at all. Although the look has come out okay, I've basically used this as a transition colour. And then I darkened it up a little bit with this, popped a bit of this in the corner these two here, this is underneath, shimmer is uh, a little bit of this with this on top and then that in the inner corner. Now the one thing I will say about this palette is mm -hmm -hmm, there's two colours in here that look identical, we've got Get It Poppin' and Coconut Latte and to me I can't tell which one's which so let me just pop it up at the camera and see if you can see what I mean. They look identical do they not? So, it's just, can you see, there's just no difference between them. No difference between them at all. They are virtually identical. So, I don't know why Revolution put a highlighter and what, why put, two, you've got a big pan here. You don't need a smaller pan. Go for a different colour. Oh, well, what do I know? I'm just a makeup enthusiast trying to become a makeup artist. Um, yeah, so basically that's my story. Um, and I have a lot of people that say, Girl, you haven't put a video up in ages. Why haven't you done that? You're supposed to be keeping your videos up for your, your, your fans. Fans, if you have subscribers. Fans, I don't have fans. The only fans I have are the ones that go round and round and round and round, and round to cool you down. Um, yeah, I'll get people sort of say, well, haven't I put video up in a while? Cause, and it's just literally been because I've been in too much pain. And when you're in a lot of pain, you don't want to put makeup on. You seriously don't want to put makeup on. And it's true. It's all true. So, yeah, I popped a little bit of this on my lid because I think this, is, as a bronzer, it's, it's nice. But I do think it is good as a lid colour it's very rich and let me just zoom in so you can have a look because it is extremely rich zoom come on focus focus on mama that's quite good are you gonna focus on mama there you go so yeah that is a fairly rich colour going on there if you can see I actually prefer that as as a lid colour than I do a highlighter although I think that would be really really beautiful for a darker skinned person it would be beautiful as a highlighter um, but yeah I'm going to go and clean up and put some mascara on and I will be back in a moment I'll do some swatches for you so that you can have a look because I've decided that, yeah, that is what I want to do. Okay, quickly, what I have done is because I always have this thing that when I, when I do my makeup, I do this, like everybody else. But when I'm actually talking to people, they look at me like this. So I have to go back in and redo my eyes so that when I'm talking to you, it looks like my makeup is done. So it's here of my hooded eyes so I have just gone in with the darker colour to give me an extra give me extra lid space because of my droop in my eye so then what I do is I then bring that over actually on my lid here just to even that up a bit but Yeah. 
put it there. Highlight. So that when I look down, I'm looking down, I'm looking at you, and this is what I look like, so that you can actually still see my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be back after I've cleared up. Okay, so I'm done. I'm locked and ready to go. Here I am. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see from my life, I've it's not been an easy ride for me, and for people to send me hate and stuff because I've been one old, secondly big, thirdly my funny eyes, fourth the fact that I'm not particularly attractive, well I know that but hey do you know what, there's always somebody out there who's going to pull you down and it doesn't matter if you are perfect, someone is going to pull you down for being perfect and find some reason why you are not. So just want to say for anybody that is getting any hate at the moment or getting bullied in any way I just want to say please just ignore them because they do eventually go away and if they don't well then they're just wasting their life just let it go over the top of your head that's all I can say so anyway that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed I hope that explains a little bit more about me um, I hope that you um, you like the look, the eye look that I've done. As you can see, I have done a bit of work. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And also, you can see the, the Rachel Leary palette. You know, this is just like an honest... Yeah. Um, but I also just want to say as well, um, before anything, I want to say a big, big hello to Kami and also to thank him because he is such an influence and I really respect everything that that guy does. I really love Kami. So if you are watching this one, Kami, because I know you do sometimes watch, I just want to say hello and mwah, big kisses to you, my darling. And I know if you've watched because you always send me yellow, yellow hearts. So, anyway, I'm going, so because I've got to go and pick my little bugger lugs up from school, and I'll see you in the next video. So, take care, be you always, do not change for anybody else, and have a beautiful day. Love you.